Morning folks, Bradley Cross here, BJC Outdoors. We're down here on Wilson Lake on the Tennessee River. One of my favorite lakes to fish. A uh, lot of fish in this lake, a lot of big fish. A uh, lot of pressure, but it's a lot of fish in here. Here, uh, This place is small, it's a 15 mile long, uh, one mile wide river, 15,000 acres, very small. Uh, there are some good fish in here, but the, the fish stay kind of concentrated in certain areas and uh, pretty easy to, to fish. Uh, I usually fish down here at night. I don't do a lot of daytime fishing down here because it's so small and so easy for people to pick you off and know what you're fishing on. So uh, we're fishing with skipjacks today. Uh, we're starting in about 10 foot of water. We're gonna work our way out deeper. Uh, we're in the mouth of a big old creek here. Uh, overcast skies, water temperatures uh, 65 here this morning on the surface. And uh, I think it's gonna be a good day. So y'all stay tuned, we'll see what we can do. If you Google uh, Wilson Lake, fishing Wilson Lake, I would almost guarantee you there's more videos and more pictures come from this lake than any other lake in, in the United States. It'd have to be a tie if there's anything else close to it. Uh, like I said, it's just one of the easiest lakes uh, around to fish. It's a fun lake. It ain't just catfish, you know, it's crappie bass, shellcracker, a lot of big fish in this lake. And, uh, not as many as it used to, you know, the commercial fishermen wipe out, wiped out a lot of them. Uh, the, bass, the catfish tournaments wiped out a lot of them. Uh, you know, they come down here, they have the trailer events, they come down here, the way in might be on Waiter or on Pickwick, and they come, everybody wants to come to Wilson because it's so small, you can find fish. Well, they come up here, you take a 100 boat tournament, 75 of them come to Wilson Lake, they all catch their three fish. One of them's got, you know, most of the boats have got a big fish. You know, they take 50, 75 big fish to pick week lake and weigh them in, or whaler lake and weigh them in, and they turn them loose in them lake. Well, this lake is so small, it, it ain't gonna make a comeback. You know, it's just too small. So, it's things like that that hurt the lake, but, oh, uh, like I said, it's still a good lake, but it's a, it's a lot of pressure on this little lake. Come on. I think he's just a young one. <laughs> He gets a little young guy. Tell you what, them constant hooks, man, them so suckers get them. That went right through the top of his head. That's a hard spot to get them, but he got them. Little young boy. This is a small creek right here. We in, uh, come off the main river and uh it don't go too far up in here probably i don't know probably five six hundred yards but it starts narrowing down real narrow but it's just deep it's still, still in 25 foot of water we're about halfway we're going to drag back in here uh, as far as we can then turn around and come back out i'm getting bites but they're small fish a lot of bait in here though there should be some big ones in here Feels like a pretty decent fish. <laughs> He's swimming with the boat. That's always a good thing when they when they going the way you're going.
Yeah. I ain't seen him yet, but I think he's a good fish. Still ain't seen him, but I seen some bubbles. That's a good fish right there. Yeah. yeah, that's a real good fish right there, folks. There we go, folks. Big old Wilson Lake Blue Kit. Ain't no monster, but he's a nice one. He ain't got but one eye. I don't know if y'all can see that. He ain't, he ain't never had an eye right there. There's not even a not even a hole there. But he's a good fish though. I hope y'all got to see that fight, man. That uh, camera started doing stupid stuff on me. But, uh, good way to start for sure, man. I'm tickled death for that. Well, let's get him back so it don't stress out. thing about this cool weather man it's cool water don't take a lot stress them out in the summertime but when it's like this right here man you turn them loose they're ready to go had another big takedown in this back of this creek i think i make once i get out here to the mouth i'm gonna turn around and go back through so that's two two big bites i caught that one that other one hits hard he started pulling my planter board under the water like jaws and by the time i got back there he done he done dropped it but i uh, probably gonna make a run back through here because them two big fish are here, there's, there's more. When I first came in here, I've never fished this little creek here before. I came in, I came in on the other side. It's just a flat all in there, gradually gets deeper. You know, I noticed coming out, I looked at Navionics on this side, there's a ledge comes off and drops off. And that's where I caught that one. That's where I got the other big bite. So we go back in, I'm gonna go in on the, the side that we got the bigger bites. Got a lot of bites in here, but they're small fish, but uh, you know, anytime you get two two big bites in a 300 yard stretch, there's probably more in there than, than just them. So we're gonna try it, see anyway. Easiest place in the world to catch a catfish. Thank you. 
He ain't as big as that other one, but he's a good pig. All you gotta do is pull up in the right cove, or right, right creek, you can catch Say, folks, that right there is a lake spawn. See how big his head is? Skinny. I mean, just skinny little fish. If he had his weight on, he'd be a, he'd be a 20, 20, 22 pounder. But that big old head, he's skinny. I say he's probably one of the lake spawners. Well, let's get him back, see if we can get us another one. I got bites from the front of this thing to the back, but I didn't get any quality bites till I come up this other side where the ledge is. We fixing to get turned around and go back in there, see if we can't pick up another. We got some rain, rain coming up the river there, so I don't know how long we're gonna be able to stay out here, but uh, I'd at least like to make one more run at it, man. That's pretty exciting right there to catch that many quality fish, you know, or catch two and then, you know, lost that one and just one little run right there. I don't know what that bigger fish was, had eight, man, but. He took a big old duke in my boat right there. And I, I was, something must have tore his stomach up in here. Must have been in shed or something. I don't know. He sure did make a mess. Now everywhere I step, I'm stepping in it and tracking it. So. It's all right though. I'll take a little dookie for a fish like that. <laughs> Went ahead and put my suspender rods up. I ain't got a bite on suspender rod all day uh, or all morning. The only thing I've been hit on is a planter board is dragging. Uh, kind of shocked too because when I first come in here I, I mean it's bait everywhere fish you know uh, suspended fish on the bottom so I thought well I'll throw out a suspended rig with the and then drag two and suspend two and I figured I'd catch a good one on the suspended but I like to come out here and just anchor up on out here on the mouth of this thing and, and just suspend some couple I think I think you can catch some good fish doing that we're gonna head back in this thing one more time the rain's getting close uh, and I'm about eight miles from the truck, so as soon as it hits, I gotta get out of here, but we're gonna go back up in here one more time, and if it ain't raining, then I'm gonna come back out one more time before I leave. But I think we can pick up another good one. I'm getting bites. They're just con consistent bites, but most of them are small fish, but there is some quality in here, too. What's going on, bro? Oh, he come off, man. All right, folks, we're back to the truck. Uh, had to race that rain up the river. It was coming coming fast, man. It's a monsoon coming. Uh, I got soaking wet just trying to get back, but I had a little 90 horse in the winging. But anyway, I uh, had a pretty good morning. I uh, found some fish in a place I never fished before. Uh, the first place I went, wasn't nothing. Uh, didn't even get a bite. But, uh, you know, it cut, this rain cut my, my trip short, uh, as usual. It's always something. But anyway, we'll get back down here. We know where to start next time. Uh, probably going to do a night trip uh, here in a few nights, so y'all stay tuned for that. But anyway, I appreciate y'all taking the time and watching the video. I want to say thanks to all my subscribers. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hey, hit that subscribe button, man. I really appreciate it. We'd love to have you on the team. Uh, y'all stay tuned for the next one. I'll see y'all then, and God bless you.